These guys, I wouldn't. I don't. But you have to remember how what an awesome deal that Husky was last Christmas. Now we know back in January, I think they were two hundred and forty nine dollars, and I think it was pretty similar size. It might have been fifty inches instead of fifty two, but it went for a hundred and forty nine dollars. Now. I'm not. I'm only comparing the size to it. You did get a pegboard also, but you only had like two drawers. You had you had one drawer, and I think you had two of these, you know, big drawers. But I mean, you do get a lot of drawers here. But you know, my point being, if you're going to spend six hundred dollars on on one of these workstations, I think the Milwaukee is around the same price. All right, um, and I like the wood topped Milwaukee. I think you can only get them online. I don't like the, the the metal top one, but anyway, I'd spend the extra 200 and get something like that. All right, real quick, guys, because I, I did want to step. This might be like a three-part series. Um, I don't know if they're letting anybody go over here. I'm going to try, only because I did get a lot of questions on it on Instagram. Yeah, it's all locked up. All right, employees only. So I'm going to have to do it from over here. Kind of sneak. A little, little sneak attack. Yo, 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 yo. You on stakeout? All right, so I put a picture up of this. Um, this is the DeWalt. Um, I think it's... Yeah, it's a seven-tool combo. And they have an, a couple other ones. But specifically on this bag unit. A lot of people were interested in it because of the bag. I'm gonna try to zoom in. You know, you know, it's just like Milwaukee or Makita or Rigid. If if you're really into the brand and they come out with something kind of new, but I know a couple of people said I'd buy it just for the bag. But I don't think it's really that expensive. Now the bag, if if you can see it, it has a a handle. See it? Wow, this camera is great, isn't it, people? All right, you do get two batteries with it, but. What a great idea. So it's kind of like their tough system. Um, their tough system holiday promo, right? They usually have it in a tough system box. Well, they kind of moved it to a bag. And uh, again, the diehard DeWalt people were going crazy just over the bag. But it is new, and this is only for Lowe's. All right, it's an exclusive to Lowe's. I actually, DeWalt contacted me. Because um, they wanted me to know that this is a Lowe's exclusive. All right. But they have a couple of them. So this is your big one. Now, I forget what the price is. Maybe this young lady will tell me. Well, she's not that young. But And then they have another one. All right. So they have two. Excuse me. Do you know how much that's going to be? Yeah. Hey, that's no big deal. I'll come back around. You, Yeah. All right, I, I want to say it's like, um, it's not cheap. I think it's $5.99, and it's really all brush tools except for that multi-tool, all right? And I think this one was, was $4.99, all right? It's a, again, it's a, it, this is a five-tool combo, all right? You get the, oh, seven, okay, thank you, hon. All right, it's $769. Boy, was I off. I think I said $599. All right, so it's $769. So absolutely insane. But, guys, the bag is is pretty legit. I bet you the bag... I, I don't See, I don't know if they're going to end up selling that bag as part of the Tough System. Um, and I don't even know if the bag is part of the Tough System. But... Um, I have seen the bag. I haven't seen it in person. And like I said, I bet you the bag alone is going to go for like 200 bucks. All right? But again, it's all brush tools at $769. Now, listen, if you're into that, just hold out. Now, I don't know how low it's going to go. Um, but it has to go pretty much half price. Um, and obviously, don't be stupid just to buy, spend $769 on a bag. But... Um, you know, there's an angle grinder. You do get a circle. You get you get really everything that you need. But to spend seven sixty nine, they better all be brushless tools, and they're not. All right. So that that's. You know, I, I think these companies fall on the. 
again, the people who don't really know tools to a degree, you know, an, an impact's an impact. All right, one might have more power, but they don't really grasp the brush versus the brushless and the differences. Um, and this is what, buy one guy. Oh, this is cool. How much is it though? Buy one guy. All right, so for $199, you do get a four tool combo, but remember what Ryobi's doing. Um, so you do get, all right, so you can get anything you want here for free for $199. You do get a Cirque uh, a Recip, and I actually really like this Craftsman Recip. It's very, very compact, all right? So if you need, like, a real powerful Recip, but um, I think, yeah, they sell it individually, too. Or this one might be a different one. Mine, Mine's pretty small. I don't know. They might. This might be a new model. I don't know. But um, I think there's a little bit more value with the Ryobi. And you do get to pick some pretty cool stuff here. You get an orbital sander. I'll tell you this, spec-wise, there's no... And, and I, I promised I would get this. Because I do have a Craftsman battery. This is really the best of all worlds, this um, inflator. Only because you have three ways to power it. All right, DC, AC. Uh, comes with the plug already attached. Like the, the DeWalt, you can add a plug, but it doesn't come with it. All right, so everything is on here. So it's a it's, it's a cool little system, and they have a fan now. Again, fifty nine bucks. Um, you only get three speeds. Again, I, I think. Again, I did the video on the fans. The Dewalt is the best, but I'd probably buy the Rigid, only because of the value in it. And I think we'll see a new Milwaukee fan for the people to ask. All right, so you, up to a ninety nine dollar value. Yeah, this Recip's the one I got. Now, eventually, I would think Craftsman's going to come out with some brushless stuff, but I, I don't know. You know, we talk about how bad Craftsman's doing, but the numbers don't really reflect it, and what they're putting in the store doesn't really reflect it. So we might be seeing a lot of, like, Craftsman stuff and a lot of buildup of of tools, like no one's buying them, just, and then, you know, obviously discounted, but they must be selling enough to kind of... Um, you know, make some money. Again, they want 20 This was $30 for this 26-piece set. I mean, you can go to Home Depot and get a 70-piece DeWalt set that are basically the same, but double torsion. You know what I'm saying? So don't buy it. Here. All right, I'm at an hour, so this is going to be like a very big special because this will take me probably seven six to seven hours probably to, to download this all right 89 bucks and you do get a little wood top this was a hundred again the craftsman stuff again i think the, the bottom of the barrel cobalt stuff's better than the craftsman stuff too but made in the usa i don't know what you do with this but and this is 399 this isn't bad guys remember because this isn't their bottom when you see red i think they call this series two or something i don't, I don't know um, but you do get a nice big drawer. You know, it's 400 bucks. I don't know. See, you, yeah, you get a lot of drawers. This isn't a bad deal. It's pretty small for a, you know, um, workstation. Not only small lengthwise, but the width is pretty small. I mean, if this goes down to 299 I mean, I, actually 349 would be a pretty good deal on that. I wouldn't spend four hundred dollars, but and they still have these two here. They can't get rid of these guys. I mean, how bad? I mean, do you, I, I don't understand it. Here's some. I mean, how can you not get this? How could you not buy this? $150 for a, a, a tool cart with a 141 piece. Steve uh, is going to go nuts. My man Federer. Steven Federer is going to go nuts. Alright, so that's why the other one, guys. This one is... Um, what is this? $499 chest and cabinet. So you're going to spend... Eleven hundred dollars on this when you can and this is 41 inches just like the other one. I think the other one was 41 inches. Now again, 
Maybe this has the, you know, obviously a little bit better liner here. And it has the, you know, soft closed drawers. But are you, you serious? And people do it. And listen, I'm not busting anybody's chops here. But no way in God's green earth would I spend $1,200 on this when I can spend $700 on the other one and get really the same amount of space just because of a soft closed drawer and some better liners. You know, maybe some other knick-knack crap. And this one's even more. This is 600 plus 749. I mean, 1300. I mean, at this, see, this is where Lowe's loses you. You can buy the Milwaukee almost for this price. And that thing's like a 60 inch. And you got a little touch screen. I mean, I don't know. This, it's a pretty cool looking little cabinet, but they gotta be serious. You guys gotta get this. I mean, what's going on? See, here's some 199 stuff, and we just saw them. $99 over there, so I, I don't know. But, guys, what's wrong with people? So I think they turned it around so people don't even see it. This promo went on. This was back in May 6th of 2019. And it was supposed to end in July, and they still have it. So I'm going to do something really crazy here. And it also comes with yeah, 3 8 quarter inch. I'm going to say I'll buy this, 99 bucks. Guy might they might tell me to get lost, but this has been here since the date is on it. Hey, you want you want all this space? Give it to me for a hundred. You got it. We're gonna. You said it. Oh wow! This is freaking awesome. So now they're carrying this in this. Again, Apex owns Delta too, um, but the Delta job site box looks very much like the job box. But how much is this? I tell you, these things are really great, guys. You know, I kind of always want one. When I finally got one, I tell you, it's just, it's awesome. I'm going to show you. Yeah, you can also put casters on this one too. I, I think mine's better. And it's I don't I don't I don't think it's much. I bet you it's yeah. This is 319. I got mine for 240. Now that it's usually 500, but I don't know what Home Depot. And it's not just Home Depot. Uh, Blaine's Farm and Fleet, and I think another company were were just selling them to get rid of them. And I don't know why. I don't know what the deal is with them. But yeah, it's it's much much thicker metal, if you ask me. And I love I like the paint job on mine. But this is not bad. This ain't a bad paint job. And it's uh, the same size, probably 48 inch. I've never seen this. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm sure none of you guys are interested. This is made in the USA, by the way. Yeah, it's 48 inch, 48 by 24, same as mine. And they got another one here. I'll tell you, 319, if this goes down, hopefully this will be here. I, I like them. I think they're great for storage, guys. You know, great to stick outside. Maybe you don't really have a lot of garage space left, uh, but you have a yard. You know, you can put this under the deck and, you know, lock it up, whatever you want to put, like your Christmas decorations. Um, you know, oh, my God, I'm, like, so tired. I've been here an hour, and I still got so much stuff to go over. This is going to be like a five-part series, guys, I guess. All right. $20 Craftsman gloves. You don't want them. All right, so here is the rolling box. I knew they always had one. I just had a, a brain fart. But, yeah, this would be a cool little box for that, you know, $149 for that 200-and-something piece set. Um, these are a little bit better than the T-Stack boxes even though it's craftsman it kind of gets you a little wondering but i think obviously these came after why dewalt weren't smart enough to put in the weather seal when they made the tea stack right from the beginning i don't know but when they bought craftsman they decided to make the same exact box and put a seal in these boxes but you know they're pretty decent boxes again um i like the makita boxes but i think again for the price of the Makita, obviously they're twenty dollars. I still think, if you're interested in those Makita boxes, I did a video a week ago. I think they're both still twenty bucks. So at that price, maybe they make more sense. But obviously, regular retail price, you know, these boxes are all right. You know, you can uh, the wall, uh, Home Depot has a deal. I think for like sixty nine dollars, where you get all three boxes and you get a drawer box. So you know, if you're not going crazy with the box, using it every day for your for your trade or for your work 
you know, the T stack or this Vera stack might work. You know, also guys, the rigid is gonna be $99. That's a much bigger, you know, rigid needs to get a wheeled um, box. I think that'll really open up. They came out last year with the organizer. Um, hopefully we'll see a wheeled box at some point. And Bosch isn't playing around. Bosch is still at the lows. Here's a nice table saw. I'll tell you, 400, listen, I'm not gonna say this is a great deal, all right? But it really is a great deal. But for all the people that bought Rigid and they bought the Cobalt and they bought, you know, the Rigid, the, the Ryobi, or maybe they even got the DeWalt for like 349. Uh, Bosch with these table saws are really, and you gotta remember the stand that comes with it. It's a it's a really really nice stand and really Bosch is still very um, well respected with the table saws really with all saws so um, you know for if you've been kind of been always had your heart on a Bosch table saw this might be this is great and actually Green Lee are also making oh wait do you get this free with this oh no wow fifty bucks they want fifty dollars for this. Or you get a lifetime warranty. Well, I'm going to spend 50 freaking... See, this is where Lowe's makes you going to just kick this. I might dent this. I'm really aggravated. So, Greenly, they come into the store. Yeah, reset. Let's let's do a reset. Because this is kind of embarrassing. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. So, for a multi-screwdriver, a pair of pliers, and a, a wire stripper, $50. I mean, I can get the... Call. And what's this? You get a bottle opener? For 50 I'd rather get a freaking pair of pliers. I mean, come on, guys. Come on. You better get this for free. That That's insane. I think you can get a Klein for 50 freaking dollars. I got these Bosch blades. I'm going to be honest with you. I wasn't too impressed with them. I probably wouldn't go... Um, now we know Bosch owns Diablo, but I wasn't too impressed with these, with these blades. For ten bucks, you might if you ever want to try them. But me personally, I didn't like them too much. Twenty nine bucks. You know, it's so funny. I got it, and this is what a sixty five footer. I have a forty footer, and it's probably around five years old now, and I think it cost me like sixty five bucks. Now you can get a sixty five footer for thirty. I'm sure we all got ripped off with something. All right, guys, this deal is still available. And remember, this is a um, this is the corded, but I think the brut, yeah, it's still down here. Is this the one inch? Oh, they might have sold out. We'll see. Oh, you do get a bonus. Oh, so check. All right, so one hundred ninety nine dollars, guys. All right, this is a um, one inch. All right. SDS Plus, but for $199, it's usually $259, all right? It's, a, it's, it's corded, but you do get an angle grinder for free. All right, so that's pretty cool. Again, Bosch, again, another leader. They're, they're in more of the... I don't know, I think their quality has come down a little bit, to be honest with you, but how much is this? $99, I don't know. Again, this is brushed... I don't know why you would spend $99 on a brushed um, drill driver. You know, you got three options at Home Depot for $99. Don't be surprised this drops, though. $99. Again, these, these are good. They're just really dated. Um, you know, they're old. They're underpowered. They do have a... I don't know why they don't bring their brushless. They do have quite a few brushless 12-volt tools, Bosch, to be honest with you. But you never see them in the store. I'm just going over deals at this point. Oh, wow. This is only $14. This is great. All right. So the, here we go. This is probably one of the best buys or the best times you'll ever get this. And they have nut drivers now. So th this is brand new, guys. I'm actually walking out with this today. I'm actually going to buy this. And they got some rubber over molds on the case. This might be the, one of the better $15 kits out there now. And now they have the removable storage, too. All right, you know what makes it? Because they finally have freaking nut drivers. I like these bits, guys. You guys have been hearing me talk about them for the last three years. 
Um, you know, the problem with them is they were quite expensive. You know, a 24-piece kit was $20. Now, to get a 40-piece with nut drivers, uh, removable um, storage here, and it looks like those are 2-inch bits, guys. Well, there's 2-inch and there's 1-inch in there. I see a couple 2-inch. And then there's your 1-inch. But 15 bucks, guys, what a great deal. I think these are going to sell pretty quick, guys. And it looks like they kind of added some rubber um, over molds to the case. And I think they have a great system here, guys. I never kind of went over. I'll, I'll do a video on this. I love how the bits come out. You just pull up and stick in. You know, it's, it's a pretty cool system. And you can, these are removable. So you can take, you know, pretty much all of them are. But these are really easy to take in and out. Like the Milwaukee ones are really hard. Milwaukee is really dated with their, and they're, they're huge, their boxes. Um, oh, a great deal, guys. The best case for the best bits. Um, that being said, guys, don't, you know, I like these bits. Are they really much better than the Makita, than the DeWalt, than the Milwaukee? Not, not really. They're, in my mind, they're a little bit better. I don't want you to think that these are like Weehaws or Wearers by any means, but these are good. I'm going to get these. I'm going to have to end up buying them. I got to go in and go, I got to get my wallet. All right, so Bosch has one decent deal. All right, so here's their $15. Okay, so they kind of got something too. All right, they said screw it. But again, this isn't the uh, Flex Torque. These are like last year. Um, Lowe's has a couple. They have their basic bits. They have the tough grip, and then they have the flex torque. I tell you, this ain't a bad price, though. Guys, think about this. And this is even at Lowe's. All right, here's a 14-piece titanium drill bit set. And it, and it comes with a half an inch. So it's the biggest, the biggest bit in this little 14-piece, $15 bit set is the same size that's in there in Milwaukee's 44-piece set. All right, so you'd be absolutely crazy. And you get that tough system box. So you can kind of connect this to your, you know, max fit bits. 15 bucks. I'll tell you, Lowe's, um, again, some of the stuff is crazy. But some of the stuff is not bad. I'm glad to see this makes no sense because I would go get the max fit. At, they're just better bits. These aren't, you know. But to get titanium... So I don't want to, unless these are made in the USA and there's no, you know, tariff, but I doubt they are. Oh, these are made in Mexico. Oh, no. Well, some of this stuff is made in China and it says Mexico, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if those tariffs are affecting them. I just, I don't know. They might've just raised the price in Milwaukee. I don't know. We know a 21, or maybe it's a 23-piece Milwaukee set. That's 44. All right, so you get eight extra bits. Buy two of these. All right, now you got a 28-piece bit set. Okay, and you're still $16 cheaper. You can buy three of these. You can buy three of these. Well, I bought one of the last two for She has to go to the toilet. All right, this is 10 bucks. And this isn't bad for 10 bucks, but honestly, for another $5, go with the 40 piece.